Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. I have behind me the most popular Jayco J-Flight unit without a slide and bunks. It's the 264BH. There's a few reasons why it's the most popular. It's got bunks, it sleeps a ton of folks comfortably, it's affordable, and it's lightweight. If you're ever wondering how much a unit weighs on the Jayco family of products, just open up the door. It's also on the utility side as well. This will tell you exactly how much it weighs. The dry weight's 4738, less than 5,000 pounds, obviously. And then here's our length. We're exactly 29 feet and five inches, so less than 30 feet long. This is half ton towable all day long. Um, even some large SUVs will comfortably tow this. If you wonder and you want to check for sure, reach out to us. We'll look up your specific tow vehicle, make sure you can safely tow it. A lot of neat things to show off on the outside before we go on the inside. And I'm going to start right here with storage. A lot of times in a sub 30 foot trailer, you're limited on storage. But in this case, we have this entire space, which is actually the space underneath the rear bunk for storage now you can option this with a little uh, refrigerator out here it's like a dorm size refrigerator i personally like all the storage in here if you end up buying one with a fridge it's super easy to take out you can put the fridge in your garage or your your kid your teenager's bedroom or whatever and have more storage down here either way tons of storage down here for the golf clubs anything you need now walking along this side, which of course I call the fun side of the unit. This is where all the fun stuff happens. The fire pit, the picnic table, all the fun stuff happens over here. We have AC power. So if you wanna put a table up here, have a margarator, electric griddle, what have you, you've got power also for lights. Here's your cable uh, and satellite TV connection. If you have cable at your campground and many of them provide that now, you'll also have cable on this side. This is a little thing called a key block mount. So if you want to have a television out here for tailgating and on the patio side, you can float your TV from the bedroom to this location and it's super easy to do. We'll give you the little bracket that comes with it. You just pop it on there and you're good to go. Um, coming up on the front, more storage, pass through storage. This goes through to the other side. And when you're shopping around and you should, Always do the knuckle wrap test on any wood that you see and look up here. This is plywood. This is not OSB or particle board. Plywood is a lot lighter weight, but stronger, more expensive, and it doesn't off gas like particle board or OSB. Jayco's a plywood based builder, particularly on their J-Flight line. So underneath all the bed decks, the bunks, the floor, everything has plywood, even the roof structure, instead of OSB or particle board. Um, it's one of the reasons that Jayco can have the best warranty in the business, a two plus three warranty. So two years covering really essentially everything bumper to bumper and three years structural. Nobody else comes close to that and they can do that because of that build quality. Two propane bottles up here that are connected together, an electric tongue jack. You're gonna see this on a lot of J-Flight units. This makes hooking and unhooking a breeze. It makes leveling it from front to back a breeze. If you're wanting to check out some how-to videos, we have a playlist on our YouTube channel, which you're on right now probably, and you can go over there. It's RV Quick Tips with Mike, and we cover topics like leveling your RV, uh, dumping your holding tanks, the top three things to do with number one and number two, fun stuff like that, including leveling. So check that out. Your battery tray is right behind here. You're, you can put two uh, batteries. Uh, it'll come standard with one, marine deep cycle batteries. And just the opposite side of our pass-through storage. So again, if you have those long items like fishing poles and stuff like that, that's the place to put, put those items. You have your furnace vent over here and then our low point drain labeled underneath here. This is your potable water fill. So if you're gonna go out in the boondocks and have no other source of fresh water, here's where you're gonna fill up your water tank on board. My recommendation is to take along a few gallons for the trip so you can get inside the coach, wash your hands, flush the toilet and what have you. Otherwise, you don't need to fill it up because you're just hauling 
weight around. A full tank of water on this weighs close to 400 pounds, so you're taking 400 extra pounds around if you don't need it. Most campgrounds are going to have water, so if you're finding a campground that says full hookups, full hookups means water, electric, and sewer. So you got water, don't need to fill that up, but again, if you're going to boondock, you'll want to have fresh water in there. Plus, that's a gravity fill, so you can take a jug of water and pour it in there and fill it up. Here's our main water connection. The RV industry calls it the city water connection. Um, yeah, what if you have well water? That's not city water. Anyway, it's the main water connection. Thread it on there. Now you have pressurized water on the inside of the coach. Detachable 30 amp power cord. So this is a 30 amp coach. It'll have one air conditioner on it. We order these with 15K air conditioners instead of smaller 13.5s that you'll often see. We're in Texas, so it gets warm here. We want to make sure you stay comfortable. It does have an outdoor shower, hot and cold. So wash those sandy feet off at the beach. Wash, uh, wash those stinky dogs off at night if they're out there running through stuff. It's really nice to have that. And then uh, um, here we've got a black tank flush. So what I like to do is the, uh, before I put the unit in storage or say I'm not going to use it for a month or two, hook up the black tank flush and really rinse out the black tank. I keep a separate hose, just a garden hose for this and I use it only for this and, and I keep a separate drinking water white hose for the fresh water connection. So hook that up there, make sure your valves are open, your black valve is open before you turn that on and then just let it run. So when you let that run, you're spraying water on the inside of the tank, it does a really nice job of rinsing it out. Gray is here because it's gray colored, black is over here. Uh, best practice is open black first, let it all run out, open up gray which helps rinse out your sewer hose close them back up and you're good to go. Low point drain here as well. Uh, obviously these valves, um, easy to find. So if you're gonna winterize this thing or sanitize the tanks, right there's a the place to do it. Now we have four stabilizing jacks, all four corners, not to be confused with leveling jacks. These are just stabilizers, um, very little weight here. So once you deploy these jacks, crank them down, and they make contact with the ground, you're done, they're doing their job. You can crank them down by hand. There's a wrench that comes with this unit, or you can get a cordless drill with a three quarter inch driver and zip those things down in no time flat. Just remember, don't use an impact drill, an impact driver, because you can put too much torque on that and end up damaging it, and uh, that wouldn't be warranted. So. We are prepped for a rear camera, so if you want to put a rear camera on this, which is a really handy thing to have, it's plug and play. That cover comes off the uh, bottom part of that and you can put a rear camera to keep an eye on traffic behind you and especially helpful when you're coming in and backing into a campsite. Your significant others back here waving their arms and everything. That's a stressful situation. You can keep an eye on them and not back your trailer over them. So uh, it's really nice to have if you want to add that later. Uh, Jayco always provides a full size Goodyear spare. So this is a mounted spare and it's Goodyear just like the other tires on it. It's got a six year pro rated warranty. Goodyear's a great tire. Most manufacturers are going to put cheap. Uh, knockoff tires on their units and the first thing you want to do is throw those away and go get a pair of, uh, go get some real tires instead of those cheap tires. You get good tires right off the bat with Jayco. This is an option and most of our units are optioned with a ladder in the back. You can add it later but most of our units are going to have a ladder. Most of them are going to have the upgraded air conditioner and they're also going to have these fantastic steps. How fantastic are they? So standard are just free hanging steel steps. So when you step up into those coaches, your weight's gonna move the whole trailer, even if you have your stabilizing jacks deployed. In this case, you can see it's making contact with the ground. So if you're the early riser in the family, everybody else is asleep, you can sneak out of the coach and not rock the boat, so to speak. To stow them for travel, it just pops up in here like this, release it there, each one of these legs is adjustable. So if you're on uneven terrain, and they're real lightweight too, and real stable, once it gets done here, just pop that little uh, lever in the back to make sure it makes contact, and now you're good to go inside the coach. 
Now, we do have a screen door here and this extra handle to give you some more stability going inside the coach. You see we do have two speakers out here. This is great. You can push music from your phone through those speakers via Bluetooth connection. Lots of awning coverage and as you can see an LED light on the fun side of the unit. But there's a lot of fun stuff that happens on the inside too. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 264BH and I alluded to some things that make this special and so popular. Our double bunks can sleep a lot of people, we're lightweight. The design of this really lends itself to a family that doesn't want to spend a ton of money. You don't have a huge tow vehicle, but yet you want some comforts while you're out camping. So let's start with the bunk area double bunks. Now in Jayco's case, unlike all their competitors, these bunks are rated for 600 pounds up and 600 pounds down. Now Jayco defines that weight rating by how wide it is. These are double bunks. You'll see these stickers in a lot of the units and it looks like it's 300 pounds up, 600 down. These are double bunks on the top and bottom. So they're both 600 pounds. So two adults or an adult and a child could sleep up here and in, in the bottom very comfortably. Also look at how thick this cushion is. You're gonna see a two or three inch cushions in a lot of manufacturers. We got four inches of high density foam cushions up here, which is really comfortable and uh, even for adults to sleep up here. Now, USB ports up there on the wall. So if you got your gadgets, you wanna charge that phone overnight, you can power up and power down. Now, if you lift up this bottom cushion, you can see we've got piano hinges here and this will reveal the storage area that we can access from outside too. So if you got some things stored up toward this end, you can open this up and access them without having to go outside and access it from the outside. Now, even though we're in a sub 30 foot unit, you have a decent little bathroom here. The sink is outside from the shower and toilet area, which is nice. So somebody can be out here brushing their teeth while somebody's in here taking a shower or whatever. I like that. It is a tub shower combo. So if you have some really little kids and you want to use that as a tub function, you can. Or adults want just a regular shower, you can do that. I want to point out a significant thing about the tubs and shower units and all Jayco's. Get in here and do this. Jump up and down. Feel how solid this is. Underneath every tub and shower unit in a Jayco, is plywood and it's thick plywood and it's reinforced plywood so that a big guy can get in here and you're not moving the bottom of the shower pan or the tub shower combo up and down. Lesser units by lesser manufacturers aren't gonna do that. And when you put your body weight in here, it's gonna move that P-trap up and down, up and down, up and down, and it's gonna fail, but you're not gonna know about it for years until that thing leaks and leaks and rots out the bottom or something. Jayco reinforces the bottom. I really appreciate that little attention to detail. Now this is a one piece shower surround, so you don't have to worry about leaking around the edges. And then the bottom of this tub area comes up about an inch behind that. So water's not going to leak up behind the whole shower surround. Have a matte black shower wand right here. And of course a skylight up here. So I'm six feet tall, not hitting my head. I could be another four or five inches tall and still take a, a comfortable shower in here. Now on the J flights, this is a plastic foot flush toilet at this price point. That's what you're going to get in a unit like this. Very functional, uh, gets the job done in every way that it needs to. Now coming up here, there is a little bit of storage underneath the sink, not a ton of storage, but you do have electric outlets right here for a hair dryer um, if you need. I don't need a hair dryer, some people still do. Now in the galley area, so the cooking happens up here and the, and the Wheaties and the coffee and the breakfast and all that, right? So we can seat four people around this dinette easily. If you want to convert this into a bed, it's easy to do. I've done a video on how to convert just about every dinette on the planet into a bed, including this one. So check that out if, if you're wondering how to do that or you have a different style. There's two posts down here. Pop this table up. This table drops down on these cleats to become the bed platform. And then you spread out these cushions to be a bed in here. So an adult or two can sleep here. Um, and again, that sofa, which I'll show in just a minute, will convert into a bed. But the galley area. 
So we have a three burner cooktop with a removable grate for cleaning. It's easy to just take this out for cleaning. It does have a smoked glass cover. So um, I recommend not putting a ton of weight on this, but you can cover this with something and put sandwich fixings or something if you're not using the stove. But when you are, pop it up, that becomes your backsplash. You can see we have our backlit controls and a little oven big enough for cookies and pot pies and stuff. And then a little more storage underneath there too. While we're talking about cabinetry, let me brag on Jayco's cabinet build. Every drawer and every door is solid maple in the front. It's also four sides, and then you've got the front fascia part in front of all that. So, really strong cabinet build, 75 pound drawer glides and full extension drawers. My pet peeve with some cheap models is that drawer comes out that far and you're trying to fish stuff out from back there. Full extension drawer glide all the way around. Cost Jayco a couple bucks more but you'll be glad it's the little things that make a big difference. This is the modern farmhouse decor, by far the most decor, popular decor option Jayco does. A little extra storage up on top here as well. Now, I love this sink. Now, they're starting to do undermount sinks, even in the J-Flights. So this is really easy to keep clean. Um, once you've had meal prep, you can wipe stuff in there and it's really nice. You can put a cover, sink cover in here if you'd like. It doesn't come standard, but you can buy a sink cover. Obviously, we have a high-rise uh, gooseneck matte black faucet up here. We have a microwave here. Again, it's not huge, but big enough to warm up those leftovers and do uh, maybe baked potatoes or popcorn and stuff like that. We have a range hood, so just like home, this is vented to the outside. So that's going to a vent um, hood, vent on the outside so you can get those bacon smells and the heat out of the coach. Of course, we have a light here as well. Now, I um, already talked about this. There is storage under each dinette seat. My recommendation is to get a clear plastic tub and push it in there, then you can pull that tub out, get what you need and push it back in there. If you have a really long item, you can just lift this whole base out of here and put blankets and things like that that you don't need to access as often um, up in there. I alluded to this, but we have a single 15K AC unit in this. This is plenty enough to keep you comfortable in here. We're in the Texas heat here and in August it gets warm and those 15K AC units do a really nice job of keeping even a, a unit like this uh, cool. Now we have a jackknife sofa here. So if you want yet another sleeping position, just lift up here and drop that down. Boom, that's all there is to it, to have another bed big enough for adult, certainly a teenager or a child. There is a little bit of storage under there too. So you can put blankets and extra shoes and what have you. This is called charcoal. It's sort of a microfiber material, which is what you'll get if you opt for the modern farmhouse decor package. Now, front bedroom. So we have a queen bed in here and access from either side. Plenty of nightstand area for reading material bottle of water or what have you and there's electrical access on either side so if you do have a CPAP machine obviously you want to plug in your cell phone or whatever at night you can do that on either side have a little light switch here for a fancy blue light up on top um, in order to use make better use of this space um, I like to put wicker baskets up here or clear plastic tubs, but the wicker baskets look nice. You can fit about two or maybe three ones about this wide up here and put games and extra clothes and stuff up there and it looks nice too. Now under the bed, yet more storage. Look how easy that was to lift that up. We have lift assist gas struts here. So what I love about it, and I've had RVs before where this didn't stay up like this. I had to hold it while I'm trying to fish stuff out of here. This stays up. I can get what I need to get out of it and close it and really nice. Again, see we have our plywood here, not OSB or particle board. If you really want to get uh, fancy here, you could cut a hole in this and put a clear plastic tub in there to pull out shoes and stuff. And a lot of people will do that as it's one of the popular mods that they'll do to this 264. So close that back down. 
you can see up here on the wall it is wired for solar so every Jayco trailer if it doesn't have solar already is wired for solar so once we cut out this little uh, area where the sticker is we can locate the wires in order to put a solar panel or panels up on top and then wire a charge controller below here's the uh, key block mount that's just like the one that I pointed out on the patio so we can have a television that floats between here and outside and uh, it's real handy to have and again it comes with that little mount and your coax cable and your power up here as well. So again we are in the 264 BH this is the most popular non-slide bunk model that Jayco makes in their J-Flight line for the reasons that I've, I've already outlined. We've got great deals on these. We've always got great deals on these. Um, I'm a big believer in Jayco's build quality. I was using a Jayco before anybody ever paid me to say it was a good idea to use a Jayco. Truth, I bought one with my own money before I was ever even in the RV industry. I've been to the plant. We did a great tour of the plant, of the Jayco plant, and you can uh, click below to check out that link on how these J-Flights are made if you really want to look at it with x-ray vision. So hey, I always appreciate your comments. Let me know what you think about this unit. Always enjoy hearing from you. If you have questions, be happy to help where we can. Drop those comments below. And while you're down there, click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like that. Okay, my name is Mike. Appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know See you next time